Ronnie James Dio is a vocal legend and a metal god that I have never listened to once until now. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I am your host and Lando of Legato, Ken Levine. I'm a singer and vocal coach here on YouTube. And today, I am one glistening, genetically engineered mammoth meatball of regret to my eternal shame. This will be the first time that I've listened to a Dio recording. You call yourself a vocal coach and you've never heard Dio? For shame. Yes, it is true. This is my inaugural run and we're going to dive into Holy Diver, the 1983 classic from the album of the same name, Holy Diver, with Ronnie James Dio right now. It's a little quiet. Let's see if we can pull it up here a bit. <clears throat> Spring on the trees has turned to no leaves on the trees. The seasons have changed. Early synth from 1983 here in the background. musical prologue. And our post-apocalyptic landscape. Demonscape. Burned out Church of Dio. Right off the top, listening to Dio go through this initial verse, I am surprised by the crispness or the um, precision of his diction. I love that. I can understand every word with just a little bit of vocal grit, just the right amount of gravel and grit in his voice, the right amount of compression. I think that's really the sound, that vintage vocal sound from the early 80s. And I'm thinking about Bruce Dickinson of Iron Maiden and maybe uh, Queensryche uh, Jeff Tate, that same kind of uh, sound that was part of the metal scene back in 83. Let's get this going again. Stop talking. Sauron? Evil one. Shiny diamonds, lucky eyes of a cat in the black and blue. Something is coming for you. Look out! Race for the morning! Out! You can hide in the sun till you see the light. Oh, we will praise a rise. All right. There's a certain style of vowel modification or uh, distortion that he just did there. Uh, what was he? Look out? No. You can hide in the sun till you see the light. The light. It's almost like a, a British way of speaking, extending certain vowels or modifying them to give a certain inflection. I, I love it when vocalists make a specific choice that alters how maybe we don't even we sort of let that sound wash over us without even perceiving that the the vocalist has made that particular decision and it just enhances it gives the line so much more delicious character we will praise a rise <laughs> has he dulled the blade on his old 
his his old sword there. He needs another one right away from the armor. <laughs> yes! Die eyes! That's just such a classic 80s line. This is the way. No need to look so afraid. Jump, jump. Someone needs to someone needs to teach Dio how to hold an arming sword. He's he's gripping the hilt um and the pommel with both hands. I suppose you can do it. Hey, there's no rules, but uh he's holding it like it's a long sword. I only know this because I took several HEMA classes last year while I was just killing time. It was a lot of fun. It was a heck of a lot of fun. Ah. Solo. Maintaining that level of grit throughout the vocal line is is a tough thing to do. You want to make sure that you are not stressing out your true vocal folds while you maintain the integrity of the false vocal to- folds, uh, generating that sort of gritty vocal shout. And this sounds so good. This is all before auto tune. Dio's nailing it. Nice little melismatic passage there at the end of the lazy fade out. Super cool. Yeah, I got to I got to thank one of my one of my students that said to me, "Oh man, I'd really love to sing. Uh, I'd love to sing like Dio. I'm never going to never going to sing like him, but man, he just inspires me so much." And I'm like, "Yeah, hold up a second. Who's Dio? What are you talking about?" Thank you very much to Christopher for suggesting that I take a look at Dio and Holy Diva. And, you know, I did a little bit of research. Normally, I'd kind of go in cold with some of these reactions just so I can just get the visceral reaction more than some sort of cerebral, con- you know, uh, construct of a reaction. Cerebral construct. Anyway, sometimes I go. I just like to go in cold. Not this time. I wanted to do a, get a little bit of context and and to do a little bit of research. Uh, Ronnie James Dio is apparently pretty much self taught vocalist. He had been a musician and apparent. Uh, also, I read in the Wikipedia page, according to the Wikipedia page, that he had been accepted into Juilliard School of Music, but decided to go a different way. And this was many, many years ago, and maybe he wanted a career that wasn't necessarily in music, but was still, still kept a hand in music and played trumpet. And that was something that stuck out to me because I think there, there's a line of congruency with, with any wind instrument and singing in, in which you use your breathing apparatus as a support mechanism to generate the tone. And you really need to know how to measure out your breaths appropriately 
generate enough breath energy to sustain the tone as well as bring you to the end of the phrase. That, that particular skill is something that's easily transferable into singing as well. That being said, being completely self-taught without any formal vocal training is wonderful for Dio. Obviously, he was a bit of a phenom when it came, or a visionary as well. You don't necessarily need to spend thousands of dollars on voice lessons in order to become a great singer. You just need to have some innate musicality, a little bit of talent, some some ears with which to hear and that ability to emulate. That being said, we can all benefit from time to time from having a knowledgeable ear point us in a direction that is optimal for vocal growth. And I'm going to leave it at that for today. So I look forward to more installments of Dio on this channel. And hey, so if you look forward to that as well, Skip the lineup, don't do the search, just hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you will be immediately alerted to when a new Dio video drops here on the channel. And you can join this awesome community of vocal aficionados and music lovers here. If you have made it to the end of this video, thank you so very much for spending a little bit of your precious day with us here on the channel. We are very, very grateful and we will see you next time. Ah!